Welcome back to the Tactical Family Channel. So we're going to finally install a new charging handle on our uh, Spikes Tactical AR. Uh, the current one on it is pink. Um, again, this is my fiance's weapon. So, you know, we originally had some pink stuff on it, but it's time to finally get a new one on that matches the other colors. So what we went ahead with is we went with the Strike Industries charging handle with extended latch, blue line edition. And as you guys can see, uh, it's all nice in the blue color um, some features for it enlarged extended grasping surface longer latch combined with the SI arch forged aluminum construction fits all mil spec AR uppers receivers latch force is transmitted through body um, also we have a uh, the Arc L charging handle from Strike Industry features a larger latch surface that allows positive purchase purchases under advised conditions. Machined from Ford 7075 T6 and hard anodized to military specifications, the Arc L is designed for reliability and built for durability. A raised rear shelf diverts harmful gases lubes and debris away from the shooter's face and the highly polished shaft surface makes it for almost effortless charge dimensionally correct and designed to the t dp this charging handle will function flawlessly in any mil spec upper receiver once you place the arch el on your rifle you will see feel and appreciate the quality of the arch el well let's go ahead and get this installed on our ar here all right so we're going to go ahead and get our new strike industries charging handle with extended uh, grip here uh, installed on our spikes tactical ar as you guys have seen um, currently there is a pink one on this is my fiance's AR so um, we originally had some pink stuff on it but then we went ahead and we did some changing and now we're just matching up all the blue so let's go ahead and get the uh, upper and lower separated and get this charging hammer installed What we're doing first is uh, we have the juggernaut on this. So um, as you guys can see, sorry it's upside down, but just taking off that part. And then we're just going to pull this through, which is the tricky part. Ooh, that came off easy for once. All right, and there we go. We have the upper and the lower separated from each other. We're going to get the lower out of the way here. We're going to flip this upside down, and then we're going to go ahead and pull this out. Yes, you guys are going to see that this is dirty. This was fired recently, um, and it does need to be cleaned out. However, for this video, I'm just uh, getting this installed in. So we're putting the new charging hammer in, going back in with our, with our bolt carrier, Bam, that's nice in, installed. Looking good. Now let's go ahead and get the uh, lower and upper back together here. I'm gonna start with uh, applying the, the juggernaut pin first because it's the one that's the most pain to do. There we go, got that in. Got that in. Now let's go ahead and get this screw back. Perfect. As you guys can see, it's open. Closes. Nice. I like it. The extended will be very nice. I know she would definitely appreciate that. But there we go. Flip this around just so you guys can see. Works very nice. So we have our blue charging hammer, our blue dust cover, and then our blue mag release. The mag release and the charging hammer are more similar blue color. This one is a bit more mag, I guess you'd say, color, but for right now it will do, and at least all of that matches up. 
So again, we use the uh, the um, Strike Industries charging handle with extended with extended latch. I'm sorry. Um, I like it. I've never used a, a charging hammer for Strike Industry, so we'll definitely uh, do another review video on it when we're actually putting it through some use, which will hopefully come up soon. But other than that, don't forget to leave any comments or suggestions you guys might have. Thank you for checking out the video, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and you guys have a good day.